that's Miles from MTG Time. How are you guys going? Today I'm going to run through how to replace um, brake cables and the outer sleeve for V brakes, like on this bike here. Over here, these are the tools that you will most likely need or definitely need. So, I've got a pair of um, high quality wire cutters so you can cut the, the cables straight and for crimping the cable end. You've got cable ends here for the um, brake cable. I've also got some um, WD-40 and also some tri-flow so to help um, for, the, for the cables. These are also very handy as well. Something here, there's these little tools here. That's for opening up the, opening this up, the sleeve, which I'll show you later. And, um, and also a Phillips, Phillips screwdriver, pliers. So yeah, this, this is the basic sort of stuff. So, um, and a, and a five mil Allen, five or four mil Allen key. So I'm gonna start off here. The, the bike here, if you film in here, um, I've got this bike here I'm working on and I'm pulling the brakes and it's all seized up. Nothing's happening. And I can see the bike's pretty rusty and everything. So the most common cause for that, if it's stiff like this, is just the um, cables and sleeve. So I'm actually gonna loosen this off here. The five mile Allen key. Get the cable cutters, because I'm not I'm gonna throw this cable out because it's had it. Then you've got these little parts here, and I'll just keep them keep them aside. Oh, it's a bit stiff this cable. Might need to cut. See it's a bit bent here, so it doesn't work well for taking stuff in and out. So I'm actually gonna cut that there. Pull that little plastic piece off here. It's a little plastic sleeve that doesn't always come out, but it's come out now, and that's to help. That's to help the cable move nice and freely. So you keep all your parts to the side. Going to you zoom in here. You need to adjust these little barrels. So zoom in here. There's little barrels here. You got to line them up pull the cable out, there's a little piece here, you've got to fiddle, fiddle around with it, fiddle a little bit like that to get it out, got it out, now presuming, so this was the right length I could see before, the sleeve was the right length and that's good before you throw it in the bin, what you can do is get your cable sleeve for the brake, and it's good to make, sh and I'm, what I'm actually doing here, I'm going to get the same length. And it's good to make sure that the length which was on there before was actually correct. But if it looked correct and everything, then this is a good way that you don't need to measure all up. You know that this is the right length, so you can stick with this. So now I'm at the stage of cutting the cable here, and I've got my, these are for sort of cable, cable cutters. If you have a look in here, you can see they cut everything really straight. So you need a, a pair of special special ones like this, not just um, any sort of cable cutters. You need the ones designed for this. And don't cut anything else in here because you need to keep the blades on that super sharp. So with this, that's the old piece, throw that on the ground. I like to, for cutting it straight, if you give it a really good hard snap like that, then you can cut a straight end in here and what I'll do here you can use something sharp I've got a special a special tool for this from park tools you can use like a um, like a spoke or something sharpened or just something that you can find sharp like a you could use a screwdriver that's been um, you know you use it on the grinder and make it sharper so I've got the ends nice and free so the cable can sit through there nice now I've got the little pieces here what are they called the non-crimping little ferrules here. <clears throat> so put a couple of them on. And they go on to the end of the brake cable here. The brake housing, sorry. Now, I grab the cable 
come over to the brake, <coughs> fit it in here, and you've got to make sure that these grooves, there's a few grooves here, and you've got to make sure that they're all lined up to fit in, and then it's good to maybe just turn them to the side so it can't come out, okay? <coughs> now I've got the, the cable here, slot it in. When you're putting new cables and sleeves in, you don't need to lube it, which I used to think you needed to do, but you don't need to lube it. I like to have a, I've got my trusty little salmon can here that I'm recycling. I like to always, when I'm working, for any nuts and bolts, um, put, put them in a container where I'm working so they don't fall on the ground and you lose them, which would be a real hassle. And um, recycled salmon cans or some sort of can like that's a super help. What I'm going to do here as well, because this is worn, <coughs> I'm going to spray some WD-40 in the end of this thing here. I'm not sure what it's called actually, but I'm going to spray it in there. A bit, bit, bit more lube because this has already been used. Push that through there. Push it through, push it through. Make sure that everything... Um, oh, okay. Now I've actually seen on this one here, some of these don't need this piece here, which I can see here. So I thought I, I thought when I took this off before, I must have actually lost it, but I didn't, I just didn't have it. So where I was going with that is that when you are putting these in, you've got to make sure that everything, if you zoom in here, if you want shorts, everything's like snug, nice, in like that you don't want to be having it like that and then tightening up the brakes because you're going to break this and it's not going to adjust so you want to make sure it's very important when you're doing all of this like up at the brake here you want to make sure that everything's sitting in nicely before you adjust it because that can be one of the most common issues that I've found for having problems with adjusting it and also just sort of breaking the housing and everything so pay attention to that Gonna slot the cable through there. Just move back a little bit. Okay. I should have um, loosened that off a little bit more when I took it off, but that's okay. <clears throat> I've got my trusty five mil Allen key here. Just tighten it up a little bit. can be a little bit of a process to set set up the brakes. This bike is a, a friend's bike, he's dropped it off and the brakes weren't working very well, so um, it's gonna be actually doing a little bit of servicing on the brakes, but I'm also having a look. So I'll pull on the bit here, just gonna have a look what the brakes are doing. Okay, so they're working quite nicely. So we're gonna make another video about how to adjust brakes shortly. Um, so if you want to have a look at the video about adjusting brakes, then look out for that as well. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Hope you guys are well. See you later.